Huber syndrome. We're talking about Logan. Logan. Uh, we we talked about it a couple weeks a week ago. Yes. But the footage was lost. It's one of those lost episodes. Lost episodes. Pre pre uh, anniversary show stress. Yes, yeah. absolutely. A lot of a lot of crazy. Google Drive is like you're full. I'm like abort, abort. <laughs> and I just deleted everything. So we're doing it again, uh, and it's it's awesome because rarely do we get to talk about a movie that we're all passionate about so close to release. Uh, so I just want to get right into this. I want to open with the end. Whoa. Harry, Harry Potter. Wow. It closes okay. at the open. What is that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Never mind. Opens at the close. Uh, yeah. I want to talk about leaving the theater yeah. after Logan. I didn't feel good. No. Because when I see a superhero movie, sure. there's a level of excitement there's a level yeah, of jolliness. The victory. <laughs> it's like you come out, you're like, man, that was cool. What was your report? Came out of this, silence. Depressed. Yeah. Did you guys feel the same way? Sort of, but I also felt like fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I w- it was cathartic <laughs> for me. It, yeah. it feels a little yeah. bit like episode seven, where it's like a little bit of the old, a little bit of the new. There's like a, a, a rejuvenation, but at the same time, you have to say goodbye to some people. You have to realize that like time doesn't necessarily heal all wounds. And, and I saw, read a great article that somebody wrote about episode seven. They were like, I loved episode seven. Why am I depressed? And because <laughs> the, you, you finished six and it, with the Ewoks and the, yeah, so yeah, we break yeah, the yeah, love. Yeah. And you're yeah. so happy. And then it's like, no, they split up and then the Luke's gone. Yeah. And all, you know, like all these horrible yeah. things have happened. And, and so you see what. going to get sadder. Yeah. But... <laughs> so you see what, you know, you leave something metal out for 40 years and it'll, it'll you know, I just, I, I just like yeah. it. It showed what, uh, what time can do to really anything. Yeah, and, I definitely and that's want, impactful. I, I want to I want to move it to to Logan himself, Hugh Jackman, seventeen years yeah. playing this character. I can't think of anyone else more dedicated to a role. Not even like James Bond, like yeah. Connery or any of them. Yeah. Um, and I just thought it was such a fitting way to go out because he's been damaged and mostly alone throughout this journey. Yeah. Uh, you know, the closest he got was. When he was like fully assimilated into the X Men, like X Men Three was on like FX the other day, and it, it like ends with him like coming out of the X Mansion, just like yeah, you know, <laughs> we won. So yeah, everything will be fine. <laughs> so, I mean, did you did you think it was fitting, like a fitting conclusion for the Logan character? What just what do you guys think of his journey yeah. and this movie in particular of where he was well, and what, where he ended up? What I loved about this one is that it, it doesn't shy away from anything. Mm-hmm. Aging, death, like self-imposed exile, like loneliness. He Logan has learned over the years that he can't get close to people because in his mind that means they're going to get hurt. Because time and time again that's been the case. Like pretty Jeez. much everyone he's ever loved, yeah. <laughs> Like, gets murdered or, like, totally destroyed in some crazy way. And so, like, you can... T- the thing that he d- that Hugh Jackman does very beautifully in this movie is, like, you can see that struggle in him the whole time where he just... All he wants, all he wants is to hang out with the professor. <laughs> right? And hug this little girl. <laughs> That's all he wants to do. Yeah. But he just knows that he can't. He won't let himself do it. Mm-hmm. And it's so tragic. It is. And then at the very end, the thing I love about this movie is that you don't really ever get that moment where he gets that because the professor gets killed by the other version of him and then he kind of dies right as he would have had that yeah. cathartic moment and then when she's just like daddy i'm just like oh my god oh and my god and, and and you think he's gonna get that moment with the cigar yeah he gets the cigar from the gas station yeah. never lights it yeah so oh my. it's like a metaphor for his entire life like it's just like i never get to smoke this thing it's just <laughs> it's insane because every time i talk about this movie I, I get just these feelings and emotions and, like, goosebumps. Like, yeah, I have goosebumps yeah, yeah. right now. Whereas, you know, so many superhero movies are about the moment, the, yeah. spect- the s- spectacle, the yeah. whatever it well, may be. Well, yeah. And I think as time goes on, I just keep thinking about Logan more and more and deeper and deeper. But the action in this feels more impactful than it does in Avengers Meaningful or kills. Yeah. Meaningful kills. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, uh, it reminds me, not to bring DC Comics into this, but uh, Batman, uh, Batman Return of the Joker... <laughs> Like rocked me to the core and I was really moved by the director commentary because Paul Dini said something that I thought was extremely profound because I love Batman so much and it was a take I never really thought about and he's like I've read so many variations fan fiction to novels to comic books on how Batman kills Joker how Joker kills Batman how that ends like how right, to, right. Like, like if you imagine all of the things they've been through how do we climax this and he's like the tendency is to have you know balloon explosions on a roller coaster flying into the space you know and like to just go nuts and he's like to me it's never been that to me it would be intimate yeah it would be dark 
It would be quiet. It would be uncomfortable. It would be tough to watch. You know, and like, like, yes. yes. And he's like, that's what I want to do is return the Joker. And so, like, I, I loved that. Yeah, it's like, for, for the one, arguably the one X-Men that will outlive all of them, other than maybe some obscure characters I don't know of that are immortal. But, like, yeah, yeah. You, you know it's, like, when actually, a, a masterful trailer construction, when he tells Charles everyone's gone now, in the trailer they have him at a funeral, which ends up being just like a random funeral. Yeah. But like, oh, it's like, oh, I wonder who that is. And yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's nobody. But... I do, I do want to talk about that. Is but the there's marketing. that symbolism of, yeah. The the marketing of, you know, like Resident Evil 7 style. They didn't show much yeah. in this trailer. Yeah. The, and, and the posters and the billboards, I was led to believe that this was going to be a post-apocalyptic, like every, it's like civilization is gone. Yeah. Sure. When yeah. I went in, that's what I thought it, it was It was sold be. that way, yeah. And, I mean, they, they kept the whole back half secret, even the middle section. I mean, they really just showed the desert and, like, him and yeah. Professor X in a, in a big silo thing. Yeah. You start with him in a fancy car. You meet all these people, like, going yeah, to parties yeah, and parties. all this stuff. So you're like, yeah, you're thrown right Exiled back into in Mexico. Society. Also, I, I, just re- I just thought of something. Like, the woman comes to him seeking help while he's at a funeral. Like, yeah. That seems pretty meaningful to me, where it's like, come help, but, you, you know, whatever. But, so, yeah. so so Jackman nailed it, obviously. But then... Yeah, and, and I, I just got to say, because I've said some unkind things about Jackman being cast in the role of Wolverine. <laughs> yes, on, on yeah. On ECL and stuff. Yeah. What? I just, yeah. to, to me, Wolverine is short. He's not attractive. He smells. He's not like he's not a pleasant person to be I around. I Jack... He's and I, small, I, but he smells. I want to get close to Hugh Jackman, is what yeah. I'm saying. I want to be, oh, right, I wanna be yeah. extremely close to that man. <laughs> that's that's the power of Jackman's like, Wolverine, is you want him to hold I wanna, him. I want to I wanna, yeah. I bury myself in Hugh Jackman. He won't do it. And I don't feel that way about Wolverine, so there's a conflict there for me personally. But the, I mean, you saying 17 years, it's like, no, oh my God. (laughs) Like that, if, like my feelings about him being cast as Wolverine are like around here, Mm -hmm. my love of seeing something that long, especially in film, which so rarely happens, which there's so like, Back to the Future 2 is like, well, recast something, you know, like, you know, like that, uh, um, sustaining something like that is so unbelievably rewarding and we get so, you know, it just doesn't happen. I've never heard him like whine about it. No. He loves it. Oh, he's amazing. He doesn't whine about anything. He's incredible. Well, okay, you talk about, you know, what your interpretation of what Wolverine is and Logan, but this was the first time that he could go all in with hard hard R rating. Yeah. Cutting yeah. people's yeah. legs. Yeah. Did oh. you did oh. you connect more to uh Logan in this because well, of the violence in well, the Well that's world? the thing about it is is it's kinda like the Harry Potter films where like there's the books and the movies. Like there was I think I think it was like the fourth you know, movie that they clearly were like, eh, and they separated. I'm like, okay, movie. this is just its own thing. Oh, yeah, where they separated, um, yeah, yeah. But the third one was just so good. The third one was that. where but, the movies got good. And so this has always <laughs> been the film Wolverine for me. So, like, I, this, to me, this had not as much to do with the Wolverine character and his continuation of that story. This was the, the, final, the final of the film franchise, you know? And so, like, I, you know, like, that's why one of the, the lines that really rocked me was him bringing up the Statue of Liberty, and, yeah. You know, and and you know, Jackman being like, eh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like uh, don't bring that up. You know, and so like that had so many layers. We can get well, into that later, but and the violence, like, the the fact that they can show it, almost make almost takes the focus away from the violence for me because I remember in X two when Wolverine was just like killing people <sighs> in a PG thirteen movie where they yeah. weren't really showing anything. It made it feel like, whoa, yeah, that's that's true. Wolverine mm-hmm. just kills people because he doesn't care. <laughs> but like. The, the shying away from the violence in the older ones actually made it feel, like, grosser and weirder to me. Yeah. Whereas this, like, seeing a, 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 a claw go through somebody's entire skull is just kind of like, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, yeah, that's what would happen. Yeah, it's that, fine. that it's scene that scene in the hotel. Uh, uh, it's my favorite action scene oh, yeah. of the film and maybe what probably top five of the whole film series. Inc- like, that was incredible. So because, <laughs> because, too, like, you know, you see so many superhero movies, so many superhero, like, action scenes... And you're like, well, why didn't he just do that? Like, well, why didn't this character yeah. just do yeah, that? Of course. And everyone is like frozen, you know? And it's like Wolverine just systematic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, kill, kill, well, and he walks kill. past the first guy, doesn't kill him for a second. And then I'm like, what are you doing, man? Yeah, and he's yeah. just like, chill. And I'm like, there it is. Okay. And, and but the guy him like moving his yeah, eyes. Yeah, he's and just like, no. like, And then Professor X, of course. I'm but, sorry. You know, he, I'm sorry. Like, that moment of him getting wheeled out i'm sorry like, oh, oh my god, god. And, oh my god and, and learning about him killing the x-men in some undisclosed way they didn't really like focus yeah. on it yeah which I loved. Well, that was killed i mean i mean killed, i think so, yeah. that also led to you walking out of the theater being like 
you know, just this, yeah. this like, you had a feeling of loss, but you couldn't really connect it to anything. It's like, I don't know what happened. It's, like, hopeless because, like, wow, dude, like, how many X-Men died? It feels yeah. like they died, like, well, it's instantly. Like that, it's like that nameless scientist who I don't remember anything much about, but who made all the Weapon X program mm -hmm. stuff. He just goes, a, de a degenerative brain disorder in the most dangerous brain in the world. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And I'm just kind of just like, one. huh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just like, yeah, that's about it. And then I love that uh, when they got to Eden, you know, there was no big, Cyclops, I'm here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's just hey, the kids Storm. decided. Yeah. Like, he was like, this isn't real. The It's just in the comic book. And the kids are like, yeah, duh. Yeah. <laughs> it's our meat spot, moron. <laughs> we're meeting like, up here. We're meeting up. We're kids. And then, <laughs> of course, the other, the, the main, last, one of the big last things I want to talk about was X-23. Yeah. Yeah. And how incredible. Perfect. <laughs> she was. Her, like, she's got that, like, visceral, just, like, glee and rage, yeah. and just, like, it's incredible. When this, she's, like, whipping around, and it didn't look first stupid. Shit, yeah. Oh, man. When she punches him in the face, that was just magical. That yeah. was so great. <laughs> the, fir the first showdown, when she, like, gets unleashed. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. like, I remember like leaning back in my chair. And they didn't show her claws at all in the advertising, right? No. Because I was like, I mean, I was like, clearly that's Weapon X-23. Like, mm -hmm. gotta be. Yeah. But they, like, they didn't show that at all. Yeah. And yeah, oh, like, oh yeah, definitely. Cool. I think there's one, it, it, like, it's always the international posters that get you. Oh, I think yeah. there's, oh. I think there's like a French poster or something she, that has her, like, well, they're like the, the French, French. Oh, the IMAX, I know. The IMAX poster. The IMAX, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, no, J Jones, <laughs> I want to, I want to toss it to you, Jones, because, and Ian, you love this movie, too. I just, I know Jones might love it a little more. Aliens. All right. Because of, uh, you know, the maternal vibe. Oh, Yeah. Of this and even like cut out that scene. And yeah, like, <laughs> I, I know. I know. Theatrical. Oh, the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for time, he had to. He had to yeah. do it. The, but that's that's pretty the important scene. Scene. I know. He had to do it. He had the to do whole it. movie. Yep. Cut out all something yep. else. What did make him happy? <laughs> oh. That was one of the, that was that was sacrifice, man. Nah. Killed him. Killed you him. Made the wrong choice. He took a whole reel out of that movie. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, just took a reel and was like, <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> uh, Logan and her and Logan just finding redemption and, yeah. and and hope in the future with her. What did you guys think of? But that in like connection? his way, mm -hmm. in in a very Wolverine way, because like another movie, a lesser film, you know, would have had that like happy moment where it's just like, oh yeah, you know, like Logan redemption, mm -hmm. like nah. It's like dirty. It's sweaty. It's it's, dirty. It's when he's like he's dying. Like basically gonna die. Yeah. But then like the thing, the thing that gets me is that she's having this moment with her father who's dying and she's just trying desperately to connect and then he goes back within and he just goes so this is what it feels like and then he dies and it's just like that's what it is like you don't get that moment you don't get that like tearful goodbye moment that's about each other or the other person like a dying person thinks about themselves dying and their entire and their life entire and life and like Sure, you're a part of that, but, like, you're not a part of that. <laughs> and it's just, like, it's really intense. Yeah. And, well, like, and it's like he had already given everything to save them right, in a right, way. Right. So it's like, all right, it's done. Like, you're it's safe done. now. Yeah. Now I'm going to think about, you know, what have I been through. Well, and her and, with the bullet, too, is really great. Like, yeah. you knew. Chekhov's what? bullet. But, yeah. I think Chekhov's, yeah. Chekhov's adamantium <laughs> bullet. But, uh, yeah. Well, I think one of the themes of, of Wolverine is, like, what is it What is it going to take for me to care about somebody and to actually, like, step forward and, and stop someone from hurting another person? It's yeah. like, do I consider the X-Men family? Like, right. I've never really had a family. Like, right. do I consider, you know, Xavier a father figure to me? You know, like we we we're not family. When he and was like calling him his father in that bit uh, like with the with that family, I was like, oh they, my god. And when they uh and like genetically, yeah, we're tied, but I didn't ask for you, and I'm not responsible for you. You know, I was like, I didn't. This wasn't like some illegitimate kid I had, and like, oh, right. there's that thing I regret. You like, were stolen this, from yeah, my genome. That's not yeah. <laughs> like, and I kind of like uh, uh, Young Justice uh, deals with that with Superman and and, and Superboy, and he's, they, it's like a clone of him. Superman's yeah. like, it's not my problem. You know, it's right. like, it was, it's, it's like. It's interesting. It kind of like turns like Superman to a bad guy a little bit. It's not bit. your problem, but it is your fault. Uh, right. <laughs> but and so it's yeah, it's it's him uh, in, in that moment regressing, not you know, not just to you know be selfish. And obviously, it's a great comment on you know all of the shit that he's has had to deal with. But you know, like at the end of the day, you are not my child. And right. like and maybe that can help you in the grieving process, where like right. you don't feel like that you necessarily owe me anything. Right. That you can go on and. But it's like she is him in a way because yeah. it's his genome, so it's like a second chance. Of... Well, and like neither of them has ever had that. Yeah. You know, and it's just like it's just like can't you see that that you need each other, like yeah. that you're perfect for each other. 
Well, the other the other wonderful things about open endings is you get to form your own continuation yeah. of that. You get well, to figure I'm, out like, like where, where is that going? Like they are they go live in peace into, the, into the runaways? They maybe, happy. Yeah. Are they gonna do the runaways? But, I, no? but I'm sure there's I'm sure there's fans that are like, yeah, it's a new crew, and it's like yeah. mm, I don't you know that that the guy was in charge. Uh, I don't know if he's got the chops. Yeah. Favorite yeah. favorite <laughs> anime moment is when they kill the guy on the ground and they're all just staring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Like Battle Royale. It's so good. That was pretty great. And then, of course, when she puts the X on the grave. Is oh, like yeah. The, yeah. Like, <laughs> if it's like, I wasn't already tearing up, like, waterworks time. Yeah. Uh, lastly, though, what, what did you guys think? We've talked about it briefly. What do you What do you think he meant by, you know, so that's what it feels like? Dying. Dying, yeah. Dying. And yeah. what about, like, love? Do you think there was love in there, too? Connection? Maybe both. But I mean, uh, cause he loved Jean. I mean, he, you know, yeah. like, but he never as, got as, to be with her. as, as, yeah, as this is, this is maybe the first, well, he had a wife in Origins or Wolverine, but I didn't see that one, yeah. so I don't really know much about it, but, uh, this is maybe like the only time that he's had true reciprocal, like familial relationship, Yeah, you know? And I mean, Xavier obviously loved him, but I think, you know, he kept him at a distance maybe. But, but I, I mean, love to me, love's a different thing. Like I, I I mean, I'm not saying it's not love, but like he, he didn't really have any friends, you right, know. Right, like right, right. I think it's just any kind of bond. He's a difficult and like he to and and, I mean, and you know he he was friends with Xavier, but again we we're talking about him more of the, as a father figure, and like their powers certainly are compatico. Like they yeah. like they I think there was a lot of distance between them. They always had completely different upbringings. You know, mm -hmm. one is just all brains, one's all brawn. Yeah. And so for him to kind of have this, you know, kind of look in a mirror and see someone that's like very similar to him. Mm -hmm. um, and, and and you bring up the Statue of Liberty. I, I just thought of this now, like. You know, X Men One started with him kind of looking after Rogue and, and trying to take care of oh, her, yeah, and yeah. we know what happened there. You know, she right. was kidnapped in harm's way. Yeah. So there's like some kind of there were legal know, battles well. with the film yeah. franchise. Yeah. It was all it was very disruptive. Yeah. No. <laughs> the director's cut. But I, I do want to add one thing, uh, which is kind yeah, of final, kind of kind of kind of, kind of, time. Kind yeah. of bringing out of left field, but like. Uh, that to me was so impactful is that like I have so many issues with all of the X-Men movies <laughs> even the ones that I love like I love X2 uh, I think there's really really great stuff in Days of Future Past even yeah. the first one I think like has like, the best unfortunately the best Cyclops moments um, <laughs> but uh, uh, I I loved that Logan is for people who hate those movies and for people who love those movies yeah that like every that like that moment that when he says ah Statue of Liberty like you can be like oh yeah Statue of Liberty wasn't that great or you can be like yes Hugh Jackman, I also hate that scene. Or like, I also thought that was ridiculous and, and over the top. And uh, that it, it's it, the whole idea. The way I feel about the X Men franchise is like, well, you know, sure we'll make another one because here we are. And right. like that was Logan to me was just like, well, here we are. Yeah. You know, like no matter what happened, good or bad, we're here now. Let's make the most of it. Life. 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 Ian, final thoughts. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a mature movie that honors its subject matter and its audience. I appreciated it respect yeah yeah and even the trailers too just yeah. fully respects yeah. the audience yeah uh yeah thank you that was uh the logan discussion hugh jackman going out on jackman's top. intent jackman's intent <laughs> and uh, i'll see you next week